Hello everyone, we are back from Sparkles College with this new lecture for you people. Uh, this says factors influencing ethical and unethical business practices. Before we start on, I would like to request you all to please kindly subscribe to the channel. And again, if you have any more questions, please just feel free to put them in the comment section and I love to answer them. Some of the questions that I got from uh, previously from the people who commented on the lectures, I've tried my best to answer those and you can go and find the answers there. So uh, after subscribing, let's come back to our channel, back to our lecture actually. So in the beginning, we discussed some of the objectives of this course, Business Ethics, Introduction to Business Ethics, and one very crucial objective of that, of this lecture, of this course is factors that influence ethical and unethical business practices so uh, till now we have covered what you know business practices are we have covered what ethics are we have covered what what business ethics are and now when we have compiled all these things together we very well know that one what ethical means and what unethical means right so we actually know what ethical practices are and what unethical practices are we have also discussed about some of the examples of ethical practices and unethical business practices however to further enhance our knowledge with you know some factors that influence the ethical and unethical business practices it is very crucial and very important to understand this lecture so what is what are those factors that basically are going to influence ethical and unethical business practices now before moving on with this chapter i would like to tell you what this topic actually means because if you're going to understand what the topic is it will be very easier for you to understand what the entire lecture lecture is about right so we very well know what ethical and unethical business practices are we very well know that they are you know based on the moral principles of ethics right but what are those factors that are going to cause or influence or change or push you know ethical and unethical business practices in an organization what are the reasons that lead an office uh you know a corporate organization to be ethical or unethical what are those reasons fundamental reasons that we're going to explore today so i've divided this lecture into two parts uh first part is uh, factors that are going to influence the ethical practices and then the other one is factors that are going to influence the unethical business practices all right so let's move ahead and let's start again as you know i always mention the first slide is always about what is business ethics i always try to cover this uh, with you in every lecture so that you know if you are uh, forgetting what we did in the last lecture it just quickly comes into your mind that okay what we are discussing in this lecture so it is business ethics I'm going to read this and I hope it's going to be pretty clear I'll try to explain it to you as well to those people who forgot what we did so you know it's easier for you to understand all right so what is business ethics study of fitting business perspectives and works concerning possibly possibly debatable subjects including corporate governance insider exchanging payoff separation corporate corporate social obligation and guardian obligations now while you read this you might you might think that oh this is you know a very uh, you can say complicated kind of a sentence i always try to explain business ethics in different ways in every lecture so that you know you can get uh, the information about different variations of the uh, of the definition of this particular word so that you are familiar with all of these things you're not just uh, you know you don't have a bookish definition of business ethics in your mind but i want to just touch it with all the, uh, all you can say sides so that you understand what business ethics means so this complicated definition i'm going to break it into simple parts and explain it to you once again so basically business ethics is the study of fitting business perspectives in order to fit business perspectives that you have and works concerning possibly debatable subjects now these are debatable subjects when it comes to corporate governance insider exchanging payoffs separation corporate social obligation right we have already done these things corporate social obligation guardian obligations so all of these things when they interact with the business perspectives all right that interaction is basically what is known as business ethics i hope now i've made it similar simpler to you and you can easily understand by what i mean because we've already done these in our previous lectures right second thing is it deals with how business connects with the world at large right so 
business ethics it deals with how business connects with the world at large again all of these things they have just you know uh generalized uh, the whole definition into this line it deals with how the business connects with the world at large then we have it deals with one to one dealing with a single customer so even with even with a customer with any stakeholder that we discussed previously so one to one dealing and how that dealing looks like it, is it based on moral principles and what moral principles are there are you going to call it as ethical uh dealing or an unethical dealing all of these they fall into the category of business ethics all right so you can see this picture as well you can see how people are having some sort of teamwork they're standing together shaking hand you know uh, and learning and working together so you can say by this particular picture you can easily tell that okay this organization is extremely extremely ethical right it seems like it i mean obviously we are not into that organization but this picture can tell you that okay everyone seems really nice everything is pretty organized right and people are very happy it seems the people seem really happy in this organization and any organization where employees are happy or any stakeholder is happy is bound to be a be an ethical organization all right <clears throat> great moving on let's start with factors influencing ethical business practices all right so yeah so we have two slides for it where i have tried to cover you know very important uh, reasons and factors that usually influence ethical business practices and i'm going to start off now so we have leadership plays and first of all is leadership all right so leadership when we talk about leadership we should know that leadership plays an important role in business ethics because the leader is a person who can mold the organization in our previous lectures as well i think i very well explained it to you that leadership is very important when we are talking about ethics right because leaders are the one who mold the organization leaders are the one who give it a shape right leaders are the people who are going to form formulate or frame your organization in a way that you won't think that you know um organization is not rightly made or you know uh, any mistake is there so leaders need to make sure that they set such benchmarks that even all employees subordinates they're going to follow that or uh, that leadership style they're going to know that okay even if we are not leaders right now we have to follow these uh, rules and regulations in the organization which our leader is following which our leader has set and even if after a few years that person is also on the leadership position he's going to also be the same person why because they have learned from the uh, people uh, before them as well so leadership is very important i'm going to read it again and we're going to move to the next point leadership plays an important role in business ethics because the leader is a person who can mold the organization he has the uh, you can say responsibility or right that he can you know mold the organization in a way that even if people who are not ethical in this organization will be ethical they'll be true to themselves they'll be true to the people they'll be honest they'll be just uh, you know they'll they'll respect views of everyone they won't be little in anyone they'll make sure that the organization is following corp corporate social responsibility they will just you know make sure that all employees know the difference between ethical and unethical business practices that's the main thing so they will encourage people to not to cheat not to lie okay and leaders will make sure that they are setting examples for the employees themselves so this is very important then the second point we have is legislation again a very important concept legislation when we talk about legislation this is very different to what a leadership is okay legislation in a legislation you're not telling anyone an employee of an organization or a leader of an organization is setting any norms or any you can say rules and regulations legislation when we talk about legislation we know that government is involved sorry so government is involved in what sense means that you know your government let's break it into this way legislation comes from the term legal okay so legally when someone is forced to do something that's by the government so government intervenes and enacts laws only when the businessmen become unethical and selfish and totally ignore their responsibility to the society so one when a government realizes that there are businesses in the society or in the world which you know uh become unethical and there is a possibility that they become selfish and they just want profits and you know they just want profit for themselves and they don't care about what people think about them or what they don't care how unfair they are becoming to their employees 
in situation like these government knows that they have to intervene they have to enact they have to build make some laws uh, which are going to some laws that are going to you know uh, make sure draw a line between unethical and ethical business practices in order to make sure that you know employees stakeholders government uh, business owners MDs, CEOs, all these people, they are eth ethical in their operations, right? So government intervenes and enact laws only when the businessmen become unethical and selfish and totally ignore their responsibility to the society. So they, they believe that, okay, the only important thing that they need to focus on is profit and their benefit nothing else so they ignore what their responsibilities towards the society are and what they do is that they just care about themselves so in such scenarios government knows that it's very important that they should intervene and they should make some laws which are going to protect the businesses and the society as a whole right so uh don't get confused with this line that only then businesses intervene so businesses already so sorry government only then intervenes this basically means that businesses are there are businesses in the world which have the possibility to become unethical, as I just explained to you. So, government has to intervene. Government has to set some uh, laws. Like, let me give you an example. That there is a law that, you know, the minimum wage of an employee should be this much, right? Just an example. In any country. So, why? That is, if you're giving an employee lesser wage than that, that means you're being unethical. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So, you're being unethical on that part. So the government has set rules and regulations and if you're not going to give this much uh, salary to your employee then and, and even if the government has set that boundary for you, then you have to be accountable to the government, right? So that is how government is stopping organizations to become unethical. Then we have ethical code and policy of a company. Again, very important. So, uh, specific strategies are issued by the companies for their subordinates regarding the dealings of the company. Now, this is very much related to this leadership. So, there are strategies that are issued by the companies, the CEOs, the HR department, the leadership for their subordinates, all right, the people who are following them or who are reporting them regarding the dealings of the company so that they're very well aware how they have to deal. They have to just, they are not supposed to indulge in any malpractice. They, they are not supposed to indulge in any theft, any lie, any uh, dishonest behavior, right? Uh, so this is something which is very, very important. So the strategies are issued by the companies or their HR departments so that subordinate knows their boundaries and they know how the company operates. And then even if these subordinates sometime go to a leadership position, they'll take this legacy with themselves, right? So this legacy is very important. So this is something which is very crucial. So we have done, covered three points till now. Leadership, legislation, ethical code and policy of the company. All right, I hope this is pretty clear to everyone. Ethics is very important. You need to make sure that you are following ethics in your operations. We have two additional points which are again extremely important. Social pressure and personal code of ethics. All right, so let's start with the social pressure first of all. So, uh, you can see this picture. I want to explain this picture to you first of all. Or let me just do the points with you and then I'm going to start with this. Uh, Alright. So, social pressures, social forces and pressures have a considerable influence on ethics in business. If a company supplies substandard products and gets involved in unethical conduct, the consumers will become indifferent towards the company. Alright. If you become... Uh, if you have, you basically social forces and pressure have a considerable, a great influence on ethics in a business. If you know that all the employees or all the stakeholders want you to be ethical because they're comparing you with other organizations, then they're, you are bound to be ethical as an, uh, you know, owner. Because you very well know that if you're not going to be, um, you know, ethical towards the organization, this is going to be, uh, you know, towards the employees or other stakeholders. If you're not going to be ethical, this is going to be, resulting in your loss and your reputation will be damaged. So that's how social pressures always help to develop an ethical behavior in an organization. So for example, if a company supplies, uh, you know, bad products, not good quality products or get involved in unethical conduct, you know, with the employees, uh, disrespect them, shout at them, the consumers will get to know, for example, if the, if the employees 
actually uh, develop this reputation of the organization just give, through their you know bad mouth or something like that they say something bad about the organization and consumers get to know that the employees itself are not happy they will become indifferent towards the company if consumers feel that they're they're being charged so much higher than the competitors they're going to get indifferent to the company right so they won't want to work with you or buy your products